Hi, I'm Katie, an occupational therapy student. Today I will be administering one portion of the Coleman Evaluation of Living Skills Assessment, and that is to assess safety and health. Hi, Corinne. Hi. Are you ready to begin? Yes. Great. <clears throat> I will be giving you an evaluation of living skills. The reason I am giving you this evaluation is to help determine your specific skills and to assist in intervention and discharge planning. It will take approximately 20 to 30 minutes to administer. I may be writing down notes as the evaluation progresses. If you have any questions, feel free to stop me at any time. We will go over your results later on. Okay. Are you ready to begin? Yes. Great. Okay, I am going to show you four pictures. There may be a dangerous situation in them, or there may not be anything dangerous at all. Look care carefully at each of them. You must decide if there is anything dangerous in the pictures. Okay. Do you see anything dangerous in this picture? Uh, yeah, there's a cord in the hallway. Okay. What's dangerous about a cord in the hallway? You can trip over it. Okay. Do you see anything dangerous in this picture? Uh, yeah, he's standing on a book that's on a chair and over the stove. Okay. And what's dangerous about standing on a book over a stove? He can fall onto the stove and burn himself. Mm -hmm. okay. And what's dangerous about this picture? Nothing. I don't see anything. Okay. And last one, what is dangerous in this picture? Uh, there's a cord that's hanging over the, um, the sink okay. and the water's running. Okay. And what's dangerous about a cord in running water? You can start a fire, electricity fire. Okay. Okay, what would you do, Corinne, if you got sick with a cold? i just wait it out. Okay. Would you do anything else if it got worse? I uh, might drink some tea. Okay. What would you do if you burn yourself and the wound became infected? I would put mustard on it. Okay. Why would you put mustard on it? Because it takes the sting away. Okay. Anything else? Maybe a band-aid over the mustard. What would you do if you suddenly started having chest pains and shortness of breath? Take some deep breathing. Anything else? Uh, maybe call my doctor. If I got worse, the pain got really bad. Okay. okay. In an emergency, what telephone number would you call? 911. Okay. If you needed the police in an emergency, what telephone number would you call? 911. If you needed to see a doctor, where would you go? Dr. Jaxis. Okay. Where is Dr. Jaxis' office located? In Yorkville. Okay. Where in Yorkville? Uh, by the Pizza Hut. If you needed to see a dentist, where would you go? Um, Yorkville. Dr. Belk. Dr. Belk? And where is Dr. Belk's office located? Uh, down Route 47. All right, that's all the questions I have for you today. Thank you very much. All right, thank you.